Hello everyone, in this video I will be installing and reviewing the TP-Link Powerline Ethernet Adapter. So this is model AV1000 and this is what comes in the box. So you have two Powerline Ethernet adapters and you have two cables and you have some warranty information and the user manual. The reason I'm installing these Powerline Ethernet adapters is that I have a TV that is in another room and the room is a little bit far from my Wi-Fi router and my internet speed is 120 megabits per second and the TV is getting only around 11 megabits per second, 12 megabits per second and I cannot watch 4K movies on this TV so this is why I decided to purchase this. So what this does is that it converts the power line in your house to transmit data. So you put this in an end near your Wi-Fi router and then you connect it to the LAN port of your Wi-Fi router with the provided Ethernet cable and you put this near the device where you want like a wired connection and then you plug this into the outlet also of the power outlet and then you hook this into the power line Ethernet adapter here on the Ethernet port this is RJ45 port and then you hook it to your TV so I'm gonna be testing in this video also the speed of this power line adapter and I'm gonna be comparing it to this <laughs> wired connection so this is a huge wired connection and this is only for the purpose of this video in no way I'm not gonna put like cables like this in my house that are visible and this is why I'm using this I'm gonna also be showing you the speed of the TV now and how the speed will increase with this power line Ethernet adapter before I install them and perform the speed test I want to let you know a little bit about the specifications of this power line Ethernet adapter. So as I mentioned before, each one has an RJ45 output here in which you put the Ethernet cable. So you put the Ethernet cable here on each end and the speed of this TP-Link AV1000 is 1 gigabits per second. So it can provide you with LAN speeds of up to 1 gigabits per second. We're gonna test it now and see the real speed it will give us. And they also have a security feature and this is a pair button here. I'm gonna show you how it works when I install them. So let's go now and do the installation. So this is my router and this is a power line ethernet adapter. So simply connect the ethernet cable to the power line ethernet adapter and then put the other end of the ethernet cable in any LAN port of your router and then the power line ethernet adapter you need to put it in the power outlet so let me show you so I'm gonna put it here make sure it is secure so now let's go to the room where there is a TV and connect the other one so this power outlet is in the room where I have the TV and this is a power line ethernet adapter and I already put the ethernet cable in it and I'm gonna connect now the ethernet cable to my TV and show you the difference wired and wireless. So here's the connection from the power outlet directly to the TV and let me show you the speed of the TV now on the wireless connection. So see on the settings network if you go to setup connection you see that it is connected on wireless. So if I go and select check connection you're gonna see the speed and then I'm gonna change it to wired connection and we're gonna check the speed also. So the speed here as you notice it is 10 megabits per second and let me show you now if I change the connection to wired so let's go to setup connection wired and then let's go to check connection And notice the speed increased from 10 megabits per second to 93 megabits per second and this is a huge gain so now the next test i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna run the long ethernet cable that i showed you in the beginning of this video and then i'm gonna connect it to the tv and see if we get better speeds with this ethernet cable so what i've done now is that i connected the tv directly with the long ethernet cable i showed you so let's go to check connection And you see we're getting the same speeds as we got with the power line ethernet adapter 
Now I'm going to show you how to secure them so that you can create a closed circuit like a closed network between the two or more power line Ethernet adapters so that only the ones that you secured can communicate with each other. This way you'll prevent someone like to hook a power line Ethernet adapter to your power outlet and steal your network. So when they are plugged like this, of course this is a simulation, you're not going to plug them in real life like this, but for the purpose of this video so that you can see them, I put them like this. You need to press on any one of the two power line Ethernet adapters on the pair button for one second and release it. And you see the power here LED, it will start blinking. And within two minutes, you need to press the other one here, the other pair button on the other one and it will start blinking and you need to wait for approximately one minute for them to pair and they will form a closed circuit. Now if you purchase a third one or a fourth one, each time when you plug it in, you need to press the pair on one of the already paired power line Ethernet adapters and then you need to press within two minutes on the pair button on the new one and this way it will join the network. Now, as you notice, the two power LEDs stopped blinking and that means that now these two power line Ethernet adapters formed a closed network circuit. One other thing I wanted to mention is that if you plug these power line Ethernet adapters in a power bar that has a search protection or any kind of intelligent circuitry, it will not work. If you want it to work, you need to plug it like in a power outlet like this one that has only a bypass power and it doesn't have any kind of circuitry in it. So it will work in this one. As a summary, I'm going to say that the TP-Link AV1000 really delivered and it is a very solid choice if you want to use this technology, which is a power line Ethernet adapter. Frankly, for me, it is a very good choice and I'm going to keep using it. One last note I'm going to mention here is that if you got this or any other power line Ethernet adapter and you saw that you're not getting the speed that you should get with it, chances are that you are connecting the two power line Ethernet adapters on different circuits in your house, different power circuits that is. With that being said, I hope that this video was helpful to you and if you found it useful, please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and it will help the channel greatly. I want to thank you all for watching and see you in the next video.